Hello, <laughs> how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Oh, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I know, I know, right? We have all these Instagram friends and we finally get to meet them. We're all home. I know, <laughs> I know. So you, you've got your sweet little dogs in the background. I know, cappuccinos barking. Come over here, say hi. Come say hi, guys. They will in a minute. You've Aww. got your kids at home, right? I start, Do you have kids? They're actually they're... my sister's kids, but oh, I okay. use them in my cooking videos. Okay. Because <laughs> I just they're saw They're always around. Thing. I saw a quick thing and I thought, oh, I didn't know you had kids. So, yeah, it's your sister's kid. Oh, I just correct. casually had a sort of eight-year-old and a five-year-old just turn up. But um, no, we're in quarantine in the Cotswolds with my sister and her oh, family. How, that's where I want to be in quarantine. Oh, that sounds oh, no. so nice. It is nice. Even, I mean, it's one of those, we've had quite nice weather here for a change. Yeah. Uh, so we've yeah. actually been out a lot. And um, yeah, I mean, I, it's it's quite good to be in quarantine because you're not coming into contact with too many people. Yeah. Um, really nice. So it's a bit easier than in London. And do you live in London or do you live in the Cotswolds? I live in London. So oh, okay. I've just sort of come to my sister's for the gotcha. time being. Oh, nice. How about you? So you're in LA. I'm in LA. Normally I'm in New York and um, I ended up coming. I was just sort of timing wise. I was like, oh, I'll go out to LA for, <clears throat> you know, pilot season and to see my family. And and it just so happened the timing was it was good because happy to be here, you know? Yeah. yeah. And you've got the weather. And I was sort of thinking yeah. about all the produce that you guys have because I was th thinking yes. about what we were talking about. And I, and, I was talking to my family and just saying, God, you guys just kind of have everything in season right now. Yeah, we're lucky. I've been going to Air One every few days and they have all the most beautiful organic fruits and vegetables. I'm so thankful, you know? I was just like, oh, they have asparagus and, and Brussels sprouts, which normally not everyone likes Brussels sprouts. I like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I love them. I, I love too. them. I do too. And they have um, artichokes. I've been doing artichokes, beautiful artichokes. Oh, you're and, so lucky. Um, so you've got those already. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So we've got a lot of, a lot of, yeah. So it's, um, yeah, a lot of good stuff. And are you near um, Amanda Brooks? Are you near her there? Um, Amanda Cutter Brooks. I, do you know her? I her? don't know. I maybe, possibly. Uh, do you mean sort of um, in the Cotswolds? Is she there too? She's, yeah, she's in the Cotswolds and she has a great little shop there when things open up, Ooh, if you're good. still there, you know, when things open up. But maybe look her up on, um, on I think her husband's an artist, Chris Brooks, something Brooks. Anyway, I, um, right. I know her from New York when she was doing, she was working with a fashion brand, but she moved there and created this sort of amazing, amazing life with, you know, horses and goats. And she oh, opened nice. a little shop there that's really, really cute. It's worth checking out. Oh, definitely. Um, well, my sister will be all over that. She may know of it. Yeah, it's 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 really cute, but I, it's probably not too far. Are the, is the Cotswold, Cotswolds really big or is it kind of, it's sort it, of like the Hamptons or is it? it um, <laughs> I, it's probably not as big as the Hamptons, but it, it's a sort of, it's a good area. And I mean, a lot of, um, it sort of goes over to counties. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a really nice suite. Every, all the houses have um, this sort of Cotswold stone, which is what uh. it's famous for. Um, it's, I mean, I've never been in one place so long. Um, <laughs> I know, I feel like I, you know, my new friends are the sheep and the yeah. uh, pig and there are some donkeys. So it's, it's yeah. different from being in London. Um, yeah. but, but it's, it's nice. We're seeing spring kind of evolve. Um, so that's actually, Beautiful. that's a, a positive, definitely. Are you um, guys, are you guys near the water there or is it just the countryside? I mean, like location wise. No, not really. Yeah. Apart from a few streams, no. Okay. Yeah, you're like way away from, okay. It's yeah. not in the country. We're you know. sort of about two hours-ish from London. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, yeah. but um, it's just a lot of fields and a lot of sheep, <laughs> but that's all nice. I love um, it. But, and, and have you been doing a lot of cooking in, um, obviously, in lockdown? 
Um, well, tell everyone what you do for, yes. so that we understand why in the world we're talking about cooking because I don't Definitely, know. Sorry. Okay. Um, I, so I'm a chef and um, I, uh, I do a lot of kind of catering and um, I've written these two cookbooks, uh, one on the south of France and one on Capri, uh, south of Italy. Um, and yeah, I do very kind of a lot of vegetarian, vegan food um, and a lot of cakes as well. Um, but so I love kind of fresh, healthy, um, strong flavors, lots of dressings. I kind of feel like dressings and sauces make vegan food uh, so delicious mm -hmm. um, and all about condiments really um, but and I do a lot of catering for events in London yeah so yeah that's what I that's do so great. and how did you get into it how did you start I started so I worked in when I left university I um, ended up going working in a restaurant and um, I was very naive. I had no idea about the kitchen and thought, oh, I'll just be someone's sous chef, not knowing that that was, you know, there was the hierarchy. Um, and I got a job um, working in an Italian restaurant in London and just sort of worked my way around um, uh, all the different sections. And yeah, and I, I, I love the creativity of the kitchen. Um, mm -hmm. And it's just the, the ingredients of the Italian food. Uh, it's know, just all very Italian colorful. Food. And yeah. Did you grow up in a, in a home where everyone cooked or was everyone in the kitchen or was? Or... Um, not so much. Um, I feel like, so I'm just gonna move my camera a bit. Um, mm. My, so I'm more of like a creative background. So my mum is an artist and okay. um, my, she's actually a sculptor and um, oh, my yeah. sister does like interior design and art. So I guess it's sort of from that side, uh, but not not necessarily cooking. I definitely had to learn from um, from scratch, essentially. Okay, okay, yeah, kind of like my family. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you kind of fend for yourself, and <laughs> yeah, you fend for yourself. Exactly, exactly. things fun. We're good. we're good at ordering off menus. My family, you know, they're really good at like, let's get something to go. Let's get something, you know. But my mom yeah. went through a phase where she decided she was going to cook, you know, and she went and studied everything and bought every sort of pot and pan known to man, you know, and all the everything. And she cooked oh, nice. very gourmet meals for a while. So it was really fun. But and she's actually a really good cook. We just I don't know, we've all kind of gotten used to the life on the go, I think. And Yeah, well, yeah. that's I mean, God, we were just saying, when are we going to get to go to a restaurant again? That's going to be such I know. an amazing experience. A treat. Yeah, it'll be a treat instead of a normal <laughs> thing. No, right? I know. So can, where can you grew up in a family of artists? Sorry, say that again. No, go ahead. Can I get one? I was going to say, because I've seen mainly actually, I think I've seen on the Gwyneth Paltrow Insta that she has these amazing takeouts that she seems to find. Um, and in LA, you seem to have a, I mean, that's the beauty of being, I guess, in a city. Yeah, no, there's a lot choice. of places that are doing takeout right now, which is great. You know, you just sort of line up at the door and or you order ahead and then just go pick it up. So and in the area where she lives, there's a lot in that area. And there's a wonderful farmer's market. I saw she had gone to the farmer's market as well, um, that they have all the fresh produce and, and everything. So and breads and, you know, beautiful things there. Amazing. But yeah, yeah. That's so cool. So is yeah. this, what's this artwork behind you? Is that anybody? Is that your mom or your? So sister? that's my, um, my, my sister did that. Um, so oh, she's done all the, I mean, this uh, house is a real, I uh, do you know Dalesford? No. The brand, it's sort of very, um, I'm trying to think what it's similar. It's just very kind of country, but with a real kind of chic feel as well. Okay. And okay. they have an organic shop um where every it's a farm essentially and the food the produce that comes out of this farm is just beautiful and it's very seasonal uh, and they also have a lot of interior stuff and my my sister's a big fan okay i have to get a pen and paper because i have to write this down one second uh, yeah yeah no no don't write this down so i otherwise you know well i, okay. I can send you definitely some tips okay so tell me so your mom's a sculptor what's her name uh, so she's Lydia Karpinska, because I'm half Polish, um, so it's, I know it's a bit tricky. So she's, you can check her out on Insta, actually. She'd be thrilled. What's her Instagram? 
So L and then Karpinska with a K, K A R P I N S K A. So she uses her maiden name. Okay, and then your sister is what? So she does interiors um, and property and things like that. So she's at, at PVG Design. And then tell everyone where you are so they can so find I'm you. I'm at, um, before I knew Instagram was going to be a big thing, I used my full name as my handle. So it's quite a mouthful, but it's <laughs> Antonina Parker. Um, oh, how do you put Antonina? Antonina, yes. Antonina, so, okay. Yeah. Antonina Parker, um, but I mean, most people call me Nina. It's a bit easier. They do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love Antonina. I wasn't sure. Okay, good. Antonina. Yeah. That's, well, gosh, you're all so creative. So, yeah, it's, um, oh. it's funny. And then my dad works worked in law, so very different. But He was the serious um, one, and the girls serious, all were the... Kept us all yeah, somebody had to have a normal job. <laughs> exactly no so it's good but it's i i think what's interesting is with being in lockdown we just we're cooking so much so my family are all like oh what's on the menu today what are we going to do you know we're trying all the time to make what we have interesting again and um because you just can't go out to the shops that easily here you have to it's a bit of a palaver and it's a bit of a it's a bit stressful to be honest okay um but uh yeah so it's quite fun we're all cooking together a lot here yeah and do you do you, do you ha what do you think about gardens because everyone's saying that that might be something that we can all do is do you have you ever had a garden or, or... i i mean apart from when i was little in london the, it's yeah i think if you're in a you don't have really the room to have a garden in, i mean obviously in london yeah I think what everyone can do is maybe you can plant things as well. You can have a small garden and yeah. I, I think, you know, you can get so much pleasure from just growing your own, even if it's just herbs and things like that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, and also it tastes so good. I know. What is the name of the designer again? You were saying at the house there. Oh, Dalesford. D A Y um, L E S F O R D. Yeah, they're, like uh, next time you come to this part of the world, you should definitely check them out. They're in London as well. Okay, great. I love learning new things. Like, it's so fun. It's so fun. Yeah. Um, no. So I have recently, you know, I've been following the medical medium for a while. And, I'll, you know, just sort of at a distance, like, who is this guy and what's this about? And, you know, because growing up, I always loved fruits and vegetables. I mean, I have always yeah. believed that the closer you stay to nature, the better. I mean, you know, it was all sort of given to us here and, yeah, you know, to get too fancy here or there is, you know, whatever. So to always stay as close to nature as possible, but most things if you can, right? So yeah, I, I thought, wow, I think he's onto something here. So I kind of followed and I kind of, you know, I travel a lot, you know, in obviously in New York, you know, you go out to restaurants and you're with friends and doing blah, blah, blah. So it's, you know, yeah. you don't want to bring your little bag of fruit and be like, well, this is what I'm having for dinner. <laughs> so, I mean, you could. Um, and so I've slowly done it, but now, I mean, I've integrated, now that we've been in quarantine, I've been able to really, you know, be able to do it. And being in California where they have all these, these wonderful fresh fruit and vegetables. Yeah. But I, I tend to keep things really kind of simple, like one ingredient, three ingredient, meals you know like i'll make a okay. smoothie like the other day i made with coconut water out of the coconut uh bananas and dates frozen bananas and dates oh nice so that was sort of my dessert that i made right but there's nothing else in it it's very i mean i don't like i use olive oil and himalayan sea salt on everything all my vegetables like that's nice. it well, it's so, if you use nice quality, you don't need to make things too fussy in a way. Right. But what are some good like things that I could put on? Like, for instance, I love basmati rice. And so I've been using just, I found this organic curry powder. Yeah. So I just put a little ice when it's cooking after it's, when it's almost cooked, I just put a little of that curry powder in there again with a little olive oil and sea salt. And it gives a bit of flavor so nice. it's not that exciting. I mean, is there something I could mix with the curry powder? I you think know? If so, in terms of like condiments, mm -hmm. um, because I'm trying to remember what medical medium says, base is his main thing, it's no sugar, isn't it? Is that well, his, his main thing is 
I mean, he uses flour. They're, they're now making all sorts of things, but they're doing it, I mean, completely gluten-free. You know, yeah. I mean, he doesn't meet, there's, I don't think there's any meat involved. So it's more just um, like chickpea flours and things yeah. like that. And I think he's using a lot of, yeah, he does a lot of sauces and condiments, but it's mainly, you know, just fresh things, probably. Fresh you, things. I mean, know. I think a sort of, I mean, this is something I make quite a lot. Um, and so just, even if it's just fresh lime, ginger, soy sauce, I'd use tamari. Um, and you could put a bit of, um, a, a little bit of toasted sesame seed oil. I, um, mm. That is my savior. I love that. Um, and that just over, you know, any kind of salad is quite nice. And if you, so good. it's so good and it's very simple. I just, also, if you want to get some white miso, you can get some organic white miso. That is great for dressings. Um, we use it like it crazy in this house. Okay. Uh, it's okay. just because it's a bit more delicate. It's natural. And if you get an organic one, I think it's okay. Um, and that just mixed in with a bit of, I mean, you could put a tiny bit of honey in there or a little bit of maple syrup just to kind of balance um, but yeah, that's another really good one. But you what would just do the white miso with a little maple syrup? So white miso, a bit of the toasted sesame seed oil. Ah, okay. Um, a little bit of the lime. Juice. Okay, so mix it in with the, that other one that you, okay, mix so it lime, together. ginger, soy. Okay. And a little bit of the soy sauce. And that's kind of it. I can send you a bit more of the quantities. Oh, um, good, okay. Maybe we, that's if, so good. If you could just write this up, I can repost it for everyone. Definitely, definitely. This sounds so, and right now this sounds so delicious because the ginger and the lime are so good for us in terms of so me, good and um, and it's just it's fresh um, and I I think if you've got a couple of those good dressings up your sleeve, you can yeah. have a plate of vegetables. They can be completely raw. Uh, like the mandolin like is my salad. best friend. Oh yeah. Um, do you have a mandolin? Not here, because I came here t for just a while. I'm in a condo that's sort of not, you know, I'm just... Right. You know, it's Or not... a grater. A grater's another one. Yeah, like a grater's one. good. But I can get a mandolin. I can order one yeah. of those. Yeah. And grater. they're just, okay. for, especially for doing, like, kind of um, lunch. I have a quiz in art. Sorry? I have a quiz in art. Quiz in art. <laughs> you know, like, one of those quiz in art. Like, it's old. It was like, you know, where you that put it work. in and it, it could... Just when you want to get it, really thin vegetables. Okay, okay. And so that's key for, for raw vegetables. And like, you know, when you do those um, rainbow salads, yes. if you put it, you do them, they're all raw, but then you put this dressing on and it's just gonna make it exciting. That's okay. kind of what you wanna. So yeah. I'd also say tahini is another good one. Okay. Um, uh, tahini with like pomegranate molasses, um, mm. which is just, you know, that'll, it's a natural pomegranate syrup. Um, uh, tahini yeah. is great because it can work for sort of Middle East, Middle Eastern flavors and then mm -hmm. Asian as well. So you could do ginger with that um, right. and a bit of soy sauce again. I'll send the couple of the options. This sounds so delicious. <laughs> this is going to change my life. I'm yeah. having like olive oil and sea salt on everything. So it's good. This is heaven. And it doesn't have any vinegar in it, which I'm not a big fan of vinegar I don't know like the taste of it so much do you do you so not like an apple cider not a fan a little of bit I mean I I just don't there's something about I've never really loved the the flavor of it so oh, fair enough. I mean I'll have it medicinally apple cider vinegar like I had a little yeah. start on my eye the other day and I read that if you put apple cider vinegar really? on it, it it heals and it's healed it so it's gone wow. away and it took sort of That's the- That's amazing. Yeah, apple cider vinegar is super medicinal. It's for, I mean, for so many, so many things. Yeah, just for your tummy. If you have an upset tummy, you can take a little bit and it sort of- I know your... people like will take it, cause it, I don't know if the medical medium talks about that, but do you have a bit in the morning? Is it a tablespoon? Some people do that. You can, some people can. Again, I'm not a big vinegar. So for me, it's like, I only do it if I, you know, but a lot of people do use it in their, uh, I think it's preferable to other other types of vinegar when you use it in, um, you know, salads and things like that. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. No, I think condiments, especially just cause you, I think at the moment you want to feel good and, you know, eating a load of vegetables is a way of, 
keeping on a good you know mindset feeling yeah. good energy um so yeah i i definitely think if you've got a few good dressings mm -hmm. um it can just make that kind of food very exciting oh definitely definitely yeah because then no matter what you're having if you're having a little rice or veggies or because that's what most people do is their side dish anyway, right? Is some form exactly, of, of yeah, that, right. If you're not having your normal, I have my little. Have girl you? What have you been making when later. you've been? She's oh, over. sweet. <laughs> she came over to sleep on my lap. Oh, so if you could see. Oh, it. sweet! Very cute. Gosh, What's so? Is her name Cappuccino? It's Cappuccino and then Twombly, and he's over there, completely passed out over there. Wow, great names. Yeah. We got, I found him, a friend of mine, Gigi in New York, knew that I had just gotten cappuccino. And um, she said a friend of hers, or her daughter, who was at Columbia University, her, um, her college roommate had just adopted a little puppy, or one of the girls in there, you know, at, at, had, um, at the school adopted a little puppy. And so she said, they they're so busy with school and everything they just don't have time you know do you would you think yeah. about having another little puppy and i was like well, i travel so much how am i going to do this <laughs> you know apartment in new york so i said we'll bring him over and you know we'll have a play date and of course i never brought him back i don't I, it took me like four days to actually call her and say oh by the way i'm, I'm keeping him because he's just they were so sweet together and um you realize how nice it is to have two you know i thought yeah oh, She's going to be fine just with me, but, you know, I love that they play together and cuddle together and bark at each other like an old married couple. You know, they're very, like, bossy about their bones and whatever. It's just so cute to see. But his, the, the, oh. the reason I went off on this is because it was Cy Twombly's granddaughter who had oh, really? Twombly. Okay. So that's why I named him Twombly. Oh, great that's name. The, yeah, that's why the we The strong him. name as well. Yeah, Twombly and Quirky, because he's kind of quirky. Oh, well, who can say no to a puppy? You give someone a puppy, you're definitely oh. going to want to. I already want more. I'm like, I just want more puppies. I want like a little row of puppies. <laughs> they need puppies. I'm like, they need puppies. I love animals. Isn't it great? Has it been nice for you to be out there yeah. in nature and... I know, it's so nice. Yeah. My parents have our sort of family dog and I definitely, she's a Labrador and I miss her called Stella. Yeah. Um, and Stella. But it's been so nice to be, you know, there are all these very, very adorable lambs in the field near us. And um, <laughs> I mean, must be about 40 lambs. And I just feel, I mean, I'm quite, I'm pretty much vegetarian myself, but I do cook still meat sometimes. Yeah. And I've I've been really toying with, never wanting to make lamb ever again because they're know, so adorable and when you're there in front seeing them i know it's really you know we all have our own spirit within us you know and you realize that these little animals you know and i think we get disassociated certainly yeah. i growing up was just you know you just take it's just there or it's at the market so you don't connect it to an actual being um yeah and i think we're so sort of educated in a, to to need the certain types of protein or animal meat you know it's like one of those things we've just grown up with and nobody's questioned it and um it's nice <coughs> to, to question these things you know and really i mean if you were to see where the meat was coming from and watch it happen it might change your mind and make you know yeah kind of like, whoa this is heavy and if you don't need it i mean i understand look animals eat other animals right so you have no argument there it's not like animals are vegetarian but the yeah. way in which it's done is is humane and it's it's um you know it's not every day and the way in which we do it it's it's in harmony with nature yeah so i think it's part of our getting back or getting forward into um you know harmony with nature in a different and way just a bit more in moderation yeah i've noticed too even just with you know there's been these images of, of zoos or like places where they've kept the um, dolphins in sort of these small areas for years and years and years. You know, it, you, now we all kind of understand. It's such an interesting thing to be in quarantine and it really has changed perspective on things and how we treat you know, nature and animals. Well, I think there's something about being in springtime in the countryside 
we've really experienced everything and we're so in tune with what's going on in the garden and the flowers Mm -hmm. coming out one day next day there's something else coming out and Mm -hmm. you know when I'm in London I'm not I'm not seeing it all the time and this Mm -hmm. has given me the opportunity to you know even with the lambs coming out one day and suddenly there are four lambs and suddenly there are 20 lambs the next day yeah it's it does and you know the colors as well that's something you realize and you it's actually that's been a positive side definitely yeah of being here like our eyes have to readjust we're all so busy, you know, and industrious, which is a good thing in many ways, right? To stay yeah. busy and industrious and, you know, we're bringing in the future and whatever, you know, that's going to look like. But um, I think one of the, yeah, one of the great things is that we've all been looking at nature. When I walk the dogs now, I mean, I've been taking all these pictures of nature and there's, you know, just trees and the wind and the leaves and you know there are things that of course you notice it's not that you know you don't go oh wow what beautiful flowers in the springtime or whatever but to really stop and look yeah and much and, more present about it definitely and to get in tune with it is another another thing you know than just noticing something to really tune in to the the energy of nature is um really healing obviously you know cliche but it's true i mean no it definitely it. is hanging out with some goats i mean you feel it you're like god what have i been doing hanging out with all these like chic people in london these goats have it all going <laughs> on here like this is where it's at I mean, exactly <laughs> there's so I much know. love here and they you know they're just sweet and wonderful and it's like you know it's a good balance yeah no it's definitely made me want to be more in nature um and to make that effort to get out of the city and not that i'm even in the city yet but um, eventually (laughs) whenever we all get back to whatever yeah yeah exactly Uh, no oh it's so wonderful to finally meet you i know this way yeah well definitely i've got to cook for you at some point um heaven i would love that so nice yeah what do you cook what if what's been a staple in lockdown for you You've been doing lots of rice. Again, I make smoothies. So in the morning, I have a smoothie with um, a pineapple, banana, almond butter, and coconut milk, fresh coconut milk, you know, with the water and the, the, yeah. the white inside, you know. Um, and then I have my veggies, whichever veggies I get, you know. Um, and um, I've, I've been really loving the artichokes. Um and asparagus, yeah, you know, all these things. And I have broccoli and peas sometimes in in my basmati rice with some curry. I'd love nice. a good curry recipe if you have one. I would love. Oh. I love curry. I love all the stuff that's in curry because I know it's so good and so anti-inflammatory and good for you. Yes. Know, with everything going on, it's a. It's I've a got one. a vegetable curry, a sort of vegan one that I can give you, um, which you can sort of mix and match depending on whatever vegetables you have. Um, yeah. I think there's broccoli. There might be roast broccoli. There. Yeah, or um, just even the sauce, even the stuff that you the yes, the paste. Get, yeah, the paste that would be great because I have the definitely. powder, but then I just kind of sprinkle it on with olive oil. You know, I don't know if I'm doing it. Yeah, no, 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 right. definitely. It's good to get that, and then that's the kind of you know you can even have a bit in the freezer and yeah. just make a bit extra, and then you can just it's good to go fresh. Yeah, whenever. Exactly. Oh, that would be so good too. No, That'd definitely. Be great. Yeah. Is there a restaurant that you're looking forward to going to when lockdown ends? Not really. I've gotten so, I, you know, my mom keeps saying, oh, let's go to La Scala and get a chopped salad and let's go over here and get this to go. And what happens is, I think it's all also like when you tune into nature or when you start eating a certain way that's really clean, you don't really want the other stuff anymore. Because like you notice how... It, it's just so much heavier and well and how it feels it feels so good and I, I feel like um, my body feels good and so and I it, there's you if you again if you tune into it it, it vibrationally it's it feels better it just feels yeah. right in you know um, versus a meal with all the different ingredients all the stuff and and in a loud restaurant with a bunch of people um, now doesn't seem as appealing to me as yeah. eating no, at I get home that. and eating things that I'm looking at and cleaning myself and cooking myself and and eating again very clean and simply 
um, has, it's just, I mean, not that I'll, I mean, obviously go off to restaurants with friends and be, be a normal human, but you know, it's, it, it's, uh, I'm really, yeah, I know it. what you mean. Well, it's sort of, I, I, cause I did, um, the whole, I started, I did the veganuary uh, thing. I don't know if you guys, maybe you guys have that. It's, what? it's, um, basically in January, everyone Go, you try and go vegan for a month for the month of January mm. um, which I actually think is a bit harsh on your body to do one thing very sort of strictly I think personally you should do it in moderate like slowly it should be a gradual thing but I I did it and I I loved it actually I loved as you're saying just you feel great on it and yeah. even as sort of a chef I knowing about food and knowing what could be really delicious I, it took me a while to get you know to the hang of doing every meal that yeah. was vegan um but i loved it and i loved how creative it makes you actually that's why i like vegan food in general because mm -hmm. I, I feel you have to work harder i feel you have to think a bit more how to get really delicious food without the cheats of i don't know butter or cheese or something like or eggs yeah, yeah. um but i thought it was very interesting and i think uh yeah it's you it's made me definitely want to be more that way um and then yeah. just when i go to restaurants i'm a bit more lenient because uh, yeah, in course. la you've got so many and actually in new york too you've got i feel we're always a little bit behind yeah. about um like the great sort of ideas and imaginative ideas come from you guys and then it comes to us maybe like a year two years later right. uh, so we're still we need a bit more sort of plant-based mm -hmm. options i think mm -hmm. okay yeah. as a chef can you kind of do the same thing just without the meat right so uh, other, yeah other than, but i guess you're right we all cook so much with butter and I mean, I still, but I eased into it. I mean, I bought a bunch of, you know, pasta thinking that in quarantine, you know, they said, oh, stock up. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how do you stock up on fresh fruits and vegetables? I mean, they go bad, right? So that's another thing is, you know, you can fill your, you know, fridge with all of that. But, you know, so I bought crackers and I bought pasta and I bought a ton of Parmesan cheese because that was the yeah. one thing I was really still hanging on to. It's like, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to give up Parmesan cheese on my pasta and just this, you know, or a little butter. I mean, even when I make the rice, I still put a tiny bit of butter in it when I cook it. Um, you know what I'm thinking? There's that um, amazing, there's that Persian dish, Taddy, which has got the oh. rice and it's got crispy rice. Um, oh, that's that's another, that's quite a good one to do. Or I, is... I do, it's tadig, I think it's called. Okay. I might be saying it wrong, but it's a Persian saffron rice. So the rice goes a golden color, which is quite nice. That's heaven. That sounds so good. I've got an, um, a, a plant-based version of it, which is a bit more Asian, which has like shallots in it, uh, oh, which good. I can also give you. So that's like a no butter one. And what are your books called? You're, you have two books. Um, that... So it's Nina Capri and Nina Sanchepe. And my, I'm working on one at the moment called Saucy, uh, which I is because that's what I'm doing a lot of. I moment. love it. That's so great. Nina yeah. Capri and Nina, what's the other one? Sanchepe. Sanchepe. Oh, wow. Because I'd grown up going to the south of France when I was little um, and uh, yeah and so I, I sort of that was where the idea started of the food from that region very kind of Mediterranean very mm. fresh Beautiful, um, yeah. and they've got great stories about recipes over there so that was my first book and then the Italian one because I trained oh. in Italian restaurants kind of followed. So good. I was in San Tropez this summer with my oh, kids. It was so much fun. What is the Rondini? Do you? I bet you have a lot of those Rondini sandals. Then, if you grew up, going oh on, yes, that they I make actually them. I don't have one, but I know they're beautiful. Like the Kajak, but they're sort of. I don't know if they're, you know, came before Kajak or after Kajak, but oh god, what beautiful places, Capri and. Saint-Tropez. Yeah. Well, my parents met on the beach around that area. So we've always gone there and yeah. they love it. And luckily we all love it, my family. Um, but it's very, there's a, there's a crazy side to it. And then there's a really beautiful, low key, yes. relaxed um, side. 
Yeah. So which that's the side I really like. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, everywhere, even St. Bars or any of these places, there's sort of the party happening. You know, everyone's dancing on tables over there. And then, you know, you have your home and the beach and everything and you can be more quiet, which is yeah. which is really no. nice. There's Where a, did you go when you were there? We went to um well, we rented, and we were there for quite a while. So part of the time, we rented a really cute apartment by the village, and then we were we rented a house like in Ramatuel. Ramatuel. Yeah, Ramatuel. Is that am I pronouncing it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we rented a house for a while, you know, with a pool because it was there the whole like most of the summer, and then we went to a little place. Um, we stayed at the hotel Epi. Oh yes, it's been, they just reopened it and it's so cute. EPI hotel. Epi. Is this the one on the beach? Yes. I mean? yes, yes. So I did a review for them, like yeah, when they first opened. It's so oh, the tennis this. court. Yes, very like, special. Very, cute. very special. Very special. And the kids, there's so much to do. And then we um, went to a wonderful place called La Roche Rouge, which oh, just yes. opened. Oh, it opened that like, special year too. Oh, it was, and the food. Talk about it. did wonderful food there. Whoever's yeah, there. they're very, I think the menu's very, it's nice because it's very Mediterranean, but it's also very quite light. Yeah, and it's right on the water. It's a beautiful, it's a gem. It's a, it, there's not yeah. much around The interiors. It, but you just want to stay there. Yeah, the interiors are great. The view is incredible. And the food was delicious. The kids loved it. They're like, we want to go back there. I was like, but there's nothing here. Like, you want to go, you know? But every, I think it was like every, every, every other night or every few nights, every night they had something like in the evening, yeah. very quiet, like someone playing guitar or someone singing or, and then they would put this sheet down very, and, and play a movie, like, oh, nice. you know, a yeah. French film. So at night you could go sit out and, you know, looking out at the water and, and at the same time watch a movie. It was, it was it's cute. really cool. Charming. It's not even been around that long, that one either. No. But it's definitely made that area. It's nice to have a few new places yes, that have opened. new places. Exactly, exactly. But no, it's my, honestly, it's my favourite part of um, yeah. the world. And we were actually supposed to go at Easter holidays, but obviously couldn't go. Yeah. Um, and we've been thinking, will we, where will we go again? This summer, you could go, yeah. hopefully, gosh. We'll hopefully, see. well, we could definitely we'll drive there. So. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's um, right, yeah. Easy but food. no, and they've yeah. got so many, each, there are so many restaurants with so many great stories as well and yeah, like history. even somewhere like San Consang has a real history to it mm -hmm. which is um just yeah it's it's just really magical. most of it includes Bridget Bardot on some level yeah. <laughs> the history Definitely. always goes back to Bridget Bardot there in yeah Saint -Tropez, it seems yeah. so beautiful I love all the, the pictures of her around it's so so great no, there's some great stories, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. And and just what's good is they keep uh, Saint Tropez looking um, so beautiful all the time, and there are very strict laws that you can't, you know, it's not built up or something like maybe can right. gets a bit built up, but mm -hmm. they're very strict and it keeps beautiful, um, which is always really nice. It doesn't get ruined by sky skyscrapers. And yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. so beautiful. Oh, well, this has oh. been so great. Thank you so much for doing this. And No, thank you. So well, I'll send you all the notes. Okay. okay. Send me the notes and I'll post them too. So if anybody, or if you, if you post something, maybe a recipe, yeah. we post it for everyone. Amazing. Addressing. Okay. Well, well, have a good rest of your, or thank beginning you. of your day. Isn't I know, it? right? I'm like, <laughs> having my coffee. Enjoy, enjoy the Aww. the goats. Say hi to the goats for me and cappuccino and wombly. I will. I will. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much. Much love. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.